All right, so I'm sure you all can see why I brought you to this perfect for teaching scalar line integrals room. Right? There are slats. So it would be a super reasonable calculation to do how much glass did they have to use to make this curved window, right? Why is that a dumb calculation to use a scalar line integral? Yeah, they're all rectangles, six, right? Six, so you just like calculate the surface area of multiply one by like measuring yeah. it and then yeah. count them and multiply. Yeah. Yeah. Or you could even like figure out what the radius of this circle yeah. is here, right? Mm -hmm. And then, well, this looks like a half circle, right? It's just a linear approximation of circle. So you can take that. Really yeah, and even if you wanted the not linear approximation, right? You just figure out the radius. Use that to figure out the circumference, and then multiply by the height, right? Really, you need half the circumference, right? But what if your window looked like this? We're allowed to do that? Oh, yeah. So yeah. 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 These kids are all freaking out. <laughs> right, so if you wanted to do an integral like this, like where you had some kind of wobbly roof, why does this happen? Because architects are assholes. <laughs> no, because architects sometimes do this thing where they let their creativity flow free, and they give no craps about the engineer on the project. Right? Like, if the architect loves the engineers, they make things that are nice and square and easy to build. And if they don't love the engineers, they let their creativity go mad. That's <laughs> right? And then they're like, oh, yeah, it's just a map. The engineer will work it out. Oh, no. Sydney Opera House, like they literally had to like say no because there were all these things like, no, that's not physically possible. <laughs> right? Yeah, another great example of this is like, so you want a building that leans, right? <laughs> like, because it looked really cool, and then you could support it with like a sweet, like, pillar of glass. <laughs> right? But how much glass do you need? So, a buddy of mine had an architecture uh, student as a roommate, and he proposed building this like sweet leaning structure, and he didn't want to build a, like any basement, basically. So he couldn't just dig the sucker into the ground and let the, you know, let the lever take care of it. He was like, no, we just, we'll put that pillar of glass in there and lean it on that, and it'll look really cool. And my buddy goes, uh, well, what you've drawn here is obviously too small it'll never support it. And the guy goes, well, just fatten it up a little bit. <laughs> a little. And he goes, OK, fine. Let's sit down and let's get the structural integrity of glass. So he goes and looks up some numbers. He goes, all right, let's write down an integral, and we'll calculate how much glass you need. <laughs> so he figures out that the amount of glass required to hold this structure up is bigger than the structure. <laughs> it's like, at some point, when you encase the structure in glass, it's not the same architectural <laughs> idea, right? They did that with the, the Burj Khalifa ones. They, they, they targeted with the height, but the height was not possible with the structural materials that they requested. Mm -hmm. So they just twisted the frame of the building. Yep, that'll happen. So this happens sometimes when people like get ambitious. But if we had this kind of funky window because an architect hated us, right? We'd be looking at, OK, what's the height in one of these segments? So I'm just going to take this thing and I'm going to cut it at a height, right? Mm -hmm. And it doesn't have to be that left or that's a right hand height. It could be this middle one or just like any old random point in my interval, right? I do the left hand height and I always take you take the highest interval and make sure you get more than enough glass. That's yeah, so you could take the maximum over that little interval, or you could take the left end points, or the right end points, or the mid points. You guys remember there's a whole bunch of ways to do this. Yeah. And when you take the limit, where do they all go? Yeah, they all go to the same spot, right? Yeah. So it doesn't really matter. Right? So if you want an approximation, then you might think OK, if I'm only going to do an approximation, that t star is going to matter a little bit. But if you're going to take the limit anyway, it doesn't matter at all. So just pick something. Okay. And then for one of these slats, right, I've got a height. That's this guy. There's my height. And then this width, right, that's that arc length along the curve from some value to some other value. You guys see that? 
And I'm not going to draw on this thing, but we could draw that little triangle here and figure it out on there. You guys do that? Cool. Questions then? Dealy use? No? Okay. Cool. Right. When do you guys want to click the camera button? Which one is that? Top one. This right here? Yeah.